Hey, welcome. I'm Jeff with Fast How To. Lately, I've had a lot of people asking me why they should be running Home Assistant as a virtual machine instead of running it bare metal. There are a lot of benefits to running Home Assistant as a virtual machine, but the biggest one is snapshots. In this video, we're gonna dig into that and I'm gonna show you exactly how snapshots work and why they're such a benefit. Let's get started. All right, so here you can see I've got the Oracle VirtualBox Manager console open, and you can see on the left that my only virtual machine is Home Assistant. Now, this is currently running 2024.3.3, and I want to upgrade it to 2024.4.1. So before I do that, I want to take a snapshot of it so that I can easily roll back to 3.3 in case something goes wrong with the 4.1 upgrade. One of my integrations doesn't work, or I don't like what it does to the console, or something else breaks, whatever, right? reverting a snapshot is much easier than trying to restore from a backup. So to do this, I normally power off the VM. Uh, you're, you can do it while it's running, but I find with Linux operating systems or Linux-based operating systems, it's usually best to do it while they're powered off. So I'm just gonna click take, and then I'm gonna give this a name. I'll call this pre-upgrade, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And there we go, we've created our snapshot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start the VM. And once the VM is started, we'll go ahead and open the console. And then we'll go over to settings, about, and you can see here that this is running 2024.3. So I wanna upgrade this to 2024.4.1. So we don't need to create a backup because we've already taken a snapshot. So I'm just gonna click install. Okay, the upgrade completed, Home Assistant rebooted. And now if we go to about, you'll see that we're running 2024.4.1. But let's say now that I go into my settings and my integrations and something in here is broken, right? I wanna go back to 2024.3.3. Very easy. We'll just come in here, shut down the VM. And then we'll come over here to pre-upgrade and we'll click the restore button. We don't want a snapshot of the current state, so we click Restore. And now if we power this back up again, when we go back in and we check the About, you'll see that it's back at 2024.3.3, just like we left it. There you go, so it's telling us that there's an upgrade available again. And you can see we're back on 2024.3.3. So as you can see, taking snapshots, rolling snapshots back, super easy, very fast, much faster than having to restore from a backup. All the major hypervisors have this. It's not just limited to VirtualBox. You can do this with Hyper-V, you can do this with ESXi, you can do this with Proxmox, all of them. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com. Patrons have access to all sorts of exclusive benefits including access to the FHT Discord channel, early access to ad-free videos, downloadable copies of all the code from all of my videos, as well as periodic copies of my automations, configuration, and dashboard YAML files. Benefits start as little as $3 US per month. To all my current patrons, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that I was able to teach you something about virtual machines and snapshots and why they're so useful. If you need to know more about virtual machines or the different types of methods that you can use to run Home Assistant, I've already made a lengthy video all about that topic. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thank you for watching, and until next time, go automate something, will you?